Hi there. I'm going to make this video for you here today on how to lay out or, or correctly format um, a, a basic page onto your WordPress website. Um, there are a lot of uh, other details that you need to know and these are therefore really truthfully just the basics. Um, however, it's obviously vital that you know uh, these kind of things. Other videos will show you how you should have correctly chosen your keyword titles for your pages and how to do your tags and details like that related to to what you need, which is using this tool related to what you need to do and use um, and, and on your on your actual page. However, today I'm simply just going to show you this. On every page, in fact, while this is going down. The video I'm talking about. Let me just try and drag this down a bit for you here. I'm going to publish this. If I'm correct, it's done. And while that's getting published, it will give me the chance to talk you through some of these uh, items. Now, your permalinks would have been correctly set up. That's this column here when I built your website. All your plugins and other things would also have been correctly installed when I set up your website. So this today is just about how to lay out your your page. Firstly, if it's a page, it should be it should be over over six hundred, five or six hundred words um, is the bare minimum that Google will start to recognize that you have got quality content. I personally believe that if a page or title of a page is good enough to be a page then why not make it a thousand, thousand five hundred words? Make it as decent as you can, um, without fluffing it again and repeating yourself too often. But basically, give people value for their money. If it's important enough to be a page, if it's not, then make it a post and let it stand on its own. Okay. Firstly, I apologise for all sorts of pathetic grammar and spelling that I have. Uh, it's not something I can change easily, and that's really where it goes. So today small business online marketing strategies in fact this will be the first this page that I've written in fact will now kind of be the explanation of this very first video so I'm, I'm using the page that I'm, I've written um, as an example for one of my first videos and the, the video as I've told you is is how to lay out your page correctly okay so we've started with this point number one thousand plus words if possible 500 plus bare minimum but don't do too many 500 pages all you do is allow your opposition to get the better of you whereas they will be doing six seven hundred pages word pages do yours at a thousand five hundred two thousand do less pages have them higher quality your retention of your readers will be higher and you you can't lose okay in your website page you need to follow some of these facts your title, Small Business Online Marketing Strategies, needs to be in the title or the head, the, the first page, headline, that's the word, in the headline one of this page. So you would do Small Business Online Marketing Strategies, there's the words, built into a sentence. You would preferably have it in the second sentence, Small Business Online Marketing Strategies. Um, and I've deviated slightly here. Normally my second line, yeah, sorry, let me show you what happens. When you've done your headline, you you bold it, you go to, in your WYSIWYG editor, which is all of these little hohos here appear on the top of the page, you'd go to this and you'd bold it as heading one. You would then take your second most important heading, which would be heading two, which normally is this one for me, and you would bold that as heading two. I um, am not too worried about that. But if the, if the heading two with your sentence in it is stronger than the way I've done it, where I've switched to three and then done a, a two as my next sentence. Right, you need to sprinkle the title of the of the page into your into your. In fact, as an exact percentage, I, I I never worry about that. It's two or three or four percent that you're supposed to put that keyword into your page throughout the page. You're supposed to also use LSI keywords throughout the page. Now, my honest opinion is if I'm spending too much time thinking about LSI keywords, uh, I'm not 
probably not making the page fun and interesting enough for people to read. Now an LSR keyword is a keyword very closely related to your topic. Now this is a long tail keyword but so but for example um, it's it's well let me show you some LSR keywords. Copy that go to a Google search if it searches with Google yeah so now I would that's my keyword right to get my LSR I would I would remove strategies and I would then ask Google to give me tips so these are LSR keywords so in my in that page I've written I should have written small business online marketing services referred to my small business online marketing blog which I do have small business online marketing tips these are very cool LSR keywords and that's how you get them uh, I haven't worried about it too much in this page that I'm busy with you guys here. It's important though. Um, okay, so when you do have your small business online marketing keyword strategies, that one, you need to highlight it once or twice and bold it once or twice if you are able to. There are times when you can't. I've bolded it down the bottom here and put it in italics. I've linked it out here as a keyword and uh, that's not the whole one I've linked that for my main sites title um, small business online marketing is my main keyword and I've linked that out um, but you probably find I have naturally out of habit oh, by the way I haven't double checked that I, what I'm telling you to do is what I've done here and to be honest I don't really care I, as long as I've told you to do it I don't see why I should have to stick to my own rules all the time <laughs> <laughs> no, dead serious. You guys have got to follow the rules, not necessarily me on my own websites. So, yeah, I should probably have used the keyword once or twice more. Oh, I can't see any easily. You could always go back and change it to a, a smaller heading. You know, look to see where you can do a break and add it in as a heading. It's a good tip, that. Okay. Um, Equally, uh, I hope I'm not going to blank it out while I click update here. It is going to blank out. My bad. Okay, so next tip is have the title in your final sentence as well. So I always do a little thanks at the end. Thanks for taking the time to read the short page on small business online marketing strategies. I really do want to thank people. So I'm, I'm genuine about that and I'm very glad when they have done that. Um, and that's cool too. I also ask them to share. Again, if you found my content to be good, please share it. When you've you found when it's let's go and view the page. When it's visible and and being read, it's it's easy enough for a client or visitor to get to the end here and think, you know what, that was cool. And simply go down here and hit. I don't want to do it now because it'll block us up. Um, and it'll get done like that okay I haven't and I should have my apologies stopped to load a video so let me do this quickly oh I don't know how quickly it will be um, not a video an image you should put in an image in fact I'm going to do a separate video for optimizing images so you should add an image or a video on your pages any other form of content is good keeps your visitors attentions it's stuff you can refer to it makes it more interesting and best of all Google actually likes it because you have to optimize those content items on your pages to be honest that's pretty much it for this now when I build your website for you I will have given you these social buttons in this form or in another plugin but you will learn to know to use these uh, and these are the ones you can fiddle with and choose as to how your how they appear if you look on that at the bottom of that page uh, to be shared okay if you're doing a page that's not a parent page you would click here and choose a page to drop it under so very often I when I've got a big website let me see if small business opportunities is open here anyway I really do wish it would go faster yes it is now if you look here I've got tons of pages under pages because this site is big 
um, and it's been building over time. So whenever there's a drop-down arrow, so like my disclaimer, privacy policy, those are under one. Anything to do with the internet marketing under another, business opportunities under another. So sometimes it pays you to build the power of your website up by building parent pages, you can do that. There's even choices of templates, page with no title, full page width. If you want to get to the page, let me go back there, and not have, sorry, when there's a video running, it, it definitely wants to fight with me, and not have any of these widgets, those are widgets, available for people to see. You can easily do those, do away with those. I, though, in my pages, I often refer to people, I tell them, look, you want to contact me, and, and I need them to do that, because that's the, my core business, is building high-quality SEO'd websites for people, is to let them see my banners. Well, this is still a very new website, so they're not here yet. But when they're up here, those banners are vital, that a client can simply just slide across and click, and they get sent to uh, my free reports, my pricing page, whatever it is, um, something I'm selling and, and, they, and they've gone out of there but you can choose to do that um, yourself or not on, on, on your templates here in certain cases it works very well in fact you could as your image tell them you want to order from me click here now and add that as an image you want my price list click this image and add it as an image in other words it becomes banners and images all within this context of this page and then you can go to the template where it's full width page with no uh, with no no sidebars different um, themes by the way will do different tricks now most most importantly you come down to here and you have to fill in your all-in-one SEO pack details again um, there might come a time when you're dealing with me that I've got a different version of all-in-one SEO pack uh, and if that's the case and I've installed it for you and this video doesn't make sense pause it, complain, email me and I will produce you a new video that shows how to use the one I've got installed on your website. But it boils down to this, you need your website to be visible under the title, that's the whole point you've done this page. Um, the all-in-one SEO plugin optimizes it so that Google finds you under the right things. Um, next in your description it must have small business online marketing strategies mentioned at the very least once and I've done it here I've added business marketing online as well you need to keep it under 160 characters because that's how much appears on this page when you go here well that's me when you go here small business marketing will they give you 60 here this gives you 60 you you need to kind of get those first sentence or two correctly done straight away okay I think I've covered pretty much the basics of it I oh, know my bad sorry down here you need to also add your keywords um, in a post you will also have to add them up here but your keywords are vital and I believe in using those tags or those keywords as fresh ones so do not have a, I, I've done that personally in the past where I just have a little notepad for my keywords, it's nice and lazy and whenever I need keywords I open the file, I just copy and paste 10 uh, and I dump them up here. But I believe that um, Google is getting smarter by the day and if you came in and had fresh, muddled, shuffled, organized keywords in, in such a way and tags, um, there'll come a time when that algorithm will benefit you and it'll be done solidly onto your onto your pages and posts okay I'm in fact gonna go off and fiddle with this more so now that I look a bit at it I quite like the idea of putting in a banner um, as I mentioned to you there and a few other things but that's the basics of it your page needs to be friendly riveting it must be fresh content never copy and paste stuff it must have the titles in italics in bold in the headline in the second sentence it must be in the final sentence it must be sprinkled occasionally uh, throughout it um, other things do bullet points um, and short sentences people online have got a very very short attention span they do not want to read uh, huge paragraphs they also love to scan 
you do it, I do it. What you do is you go down here. Now, very likely, uh, a scanner will pick up where I've darkened or I've colored this one. So, And I've done it on purpose. It says, once the CMS website has been set up with all correct pages, now that's what I would do, you see. So I, I, I want people to notice that correctly set up means I need to do it because I've seen in the past when my clients try to do it themselves, they get so bogged down with it that they give up on it and eventually declare to their friends that online websites don't work. Well, of course they don't if you don't build them right. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for your time. I'm going to uh, finish this video. I will process it and put it back on this website as a post. Um, and it will obviously be on YouTube and perhaps on one or two of my other sites, I suspect, just on this one. Appreciate your time. Thank you and good luck with your marketing.